I'm Sean Smith, and this is Salty Jobs. Hey everyone, we're here today at AccuDock, a custom floating dock manufacturing company. For the first time in the Salty Job series, I'm joined by a co-host. With me today is Erica Reinecke, an Olympic hopeful who's ranked seventh in the world in sailing. Erica, I'm assuming you've been around a floating dock or two. Just a few hundred. Uh, as a sailor, I've been around docks my whole life, but I've never actually seen how floating docks are made. We're not just gonna see how the floating docks are made, we're gonna see how everything that goes with the docks are made. From ladders to ramps, these guys do it all. I'm super excited, let's go check it out. We're here with Jason, who is the operations manager at AccuDock. Jason, I see you guys build all sorts of different kind of docks. Walk me through a typical day here. Well, a typical day is built around a couple different things, plastics, aluminums, putting everything together, building stuff. We do a lot of residential, we do a lot of commercial projects. Jason, I understand that you manufacture the docks for 2016 Olympic Games. Yeah. That really hits uh, close to my heart because I'm an aspiring Olympian for the 2020 Games. So can you tell me a bit about that process? That process was really cool, very humbling. We got the opportunity and we were very fortunate to be involved amongst all the companies in the entire world for the Olympics because it's such a prestigious event. And uh, we're looking forward to 2020 in Tokyo. Well, I hope to see you there. <laughs> well, I won't be seeing you guys in Tokyo. I don't think I'm gonna qualify, but uh, I look forward to building docks with you today. Fair enough, let's do it. <laughs> I'm here with Frank and he's the plastics fabricator here at AccuDock and he's gonna show me how to cut the sides and ends of a floating dock today. Frank, take me through the steps. Well, the first thing you have to know is what size of plastic you need to cut. So the machine is already preset for the size of plastic we're gonna cut right now. We just gotta make sure everything is in working condition and remember safety first. Awesome, yeah, safety first. Got my glasses and we're ready to go here. That was a little scary, but a lot of fun. I'm with Orestis, a plastics foreman at AccuDock. Orestis, I see this beautiful dock in front of us. What steps need to be taken to get us to this point? We just uh, finished to cut the boards and also drill it. So we're gonna take this drill and we're gonna drill through the aluminum. Show me how it's done, let's do it. Orestes explained how to countersink the screws flush against the decking. This not only looks better, it's much safer for bare feet. The next step, once we finish all the screw, we, we're going to take those spaces out and we're going to have a beautiful dock. So have you been doing this your whole life? My whole life. Let me tell you, I'm from Cuba. Cuba is an island and uh, it's a beautiful island and surrounded by water. And that's why I love uh, being involved with uh, decks, docks, everything related with a marina and the water. Actually, I've been here in this company for seven years and I've been doing all kind of stuff. I started doing boxes, cutting, decking, drilling, anything. And this is what I love to do. I have a boat and every time that I go outside and I say, oh my God, I did that. I feel really proud that I did those things like this. And then it's beautiful. That's really And people cool. enjoy it a lot. Well, your passion for it really shows, man. I appreciate you taking the okay, time man. to teach me how You're to do welcome, this. You're welcome, man, anytime. After a full day of building, Erica and I were excited to see the finished dock shipped off to a happy customer. Well, I'm exhausted. That was a lot of work today. It was a lot of work, but I learned a ton, and I have an entirely new appreciation for floating docks. Oh, yeah, me too. Well, I can't wait to work with you again. Thank you for being here today. I enjoyed it, and I hope to be back soon. We're here with Jason, who is the operations manager at Aki. Yeah. I feel like my voice is cracked. It, it did crack a little. Mm -hmm. It's a great Do you need water? Keep, keep, keep feeding them. Keep feeding them. Jason. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> you guys have to do this all the time. <laughs> 